Yeah, she legit came in my room yesterday and stole like two of my pillows. Cause where are Wait. my pillows? You already had pillows. My white pillows. No, I have four pillows, and we got a video too for my birthday. I had these ones, and I had some white ones. Where's my white pillows go? When we left, I had my blanket and my pillows in there. I forgot them. I asked you to put them back in my room. So where'd they go? Technically, I bought them. So technically, they all belong to me. But where'd they go? Probably in my room where mm -hmm. I was sleeping at. Mm -hmm. so that's why I snatched them back. Well, you know what? I'll snatch everything off this bed. How about that? Please don't. Okay. <laughs> it took me so long to make it. Look, I have this gray blanket. I have this blue blanket. I have my pillows. I have these pillows. Came home and just made your bed all the way up, huh? Yes. Yeah. It is nice and comfy in here. <laughs> it's a lot funner in here when you're here. I never come in y'all room when you guys are gone. I'll be like... <laughs> boring in here it's so sad so She's sad back. Back. You, it seems like you guys came back with a lot more than which i left with no no you don't no. think so no it do i feel like junior suitcase is way bigger too i mean my suitcase probably hey, man, my suitcase probably looks bigger because of all my socks that yeah, y'all did go crazy on the socks. I got a 20 pack. Because of um, my low cut shoes. Mm -hmm. I don't really like low cut shoes because I don't like when my ankles get cold. Mm -hmm. So I just got ankle socks. Okay. And then, yeah. Those are ones your auntie gave you? Yeah, so these All ones, them holes in them pants. They're not holes. They're little zips. Go. All your yeah. thighs be out? Yeah, my thighs. All my thighs be out except for like this part of here okay so i have these ones and then she gave me these ones you guys wore the same size mm -hmm. those are cute and these ones it's like the elastic at the ankles and the elastic up here mm -hmm. and then she gave me one more pair she gave me these ones to wander around the house in those are those are like swim trunks I think that's it. Yeah, just those and then the one. Yeah. Oh, one of your nana's little dresses? Yeah, it's like a little sundress. Oh. I used it when I was blow drying on my hair. That's cute. And then all my sweatpants. Some leggings. Leggings, sleep shorts. All that stuff better find its way inside your dresser too. Y'all yeah. took the time out and washed and folded everything all nice and neat. It better end up right in the dresser. They will. Yeah. I'm really about to just sit here and bother them all day just because. And then I place uh we were supposed to go grocery shopping, but I don't feel like getting up. Cause we got back at like one something in the morning and then like, I didn't end one. up we got one. back to like one o'clock and then it was like one something so I think the the GPS said we'll make it back by one nineteen, and we made it back like 109 or something like that and then um but we didn't actually like get to sleep I didn't literally fall asleep until like almost three o'clock this morning fall asleep until like four or five six four or five yeah I didn't fall asleep until three o'clock this morning and then um my cousin turned around and woke me up at like seven Cause she had to be at work and I had to go drop her off. So really I feel sleepy. I'm tired. I've been up ever since because I just can't I can't go right back to sleep. Oh, that's cute. Your some so I can't just go right back to sleep as soon as like my sleep is broken. It takes me a minute to wind down. So I stayed up and did this um web seminar and then yeah, I've been chilling. So I put in a Walmart order 
for the kids to get all the like do our grocery shopping and stuff and then later on tonight we're gonna step out and do their back to school shopping and stuff so this day day is day i'll catch up with you guys in a bit you should know that hmm hmm twinning twins she loves me guys she loves me <laughs> are you okay you 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 have problems i just want you to know that little bump on my face hurts did that hurt yes that did hurt mm -hmm. the bump on your face mm -hmm. that one right there let me touch it Mm -hmm. No, it already hurt. Let me touch it. No. Let me touch it. No. And make it feel better. No. Get a long nail and you're going to make it hurt more. Ah. <laughs> Don't do that. She missed me. He missed me. He didn't. <laughs> he didn't miss me. <laughs> Am I annoying you already? Huh? Huh? Your eyes are saying it all. He's judging me. Look at them. So handsome. Can I see? You want to see? Yeah. All right, guys. I just finished putting everything out. So, yeah, I might. I'm going to do the girl. I'm going to do a grocery haul. So. Yeah, I'm gonna do a grocery haul. So, peace. All right, guys. So I just finished some packing everything. I just, I did all of this by myself. This guy didn't even help me. Not even, not even my sister. Not even Mel. Not even my sister. My own sister. I did all this by myself. He didn't even help me. Like, that guy, that guy, that black guy right now, the black guy, okay? and he didn't, he didn't help me. I have the iPad recording. I have the iPad. Recording right here. Wait, is it even recording? Oh, now it's recording. Now it's recording. It was recording at first. I'm not recording two at a time, boy. I'm no, sitting here playing Roblox. Well, I was packing while I was doing the thing. So, I'm going to do the grocery haul later. I'm going to do the grocery haul when my mother wakes up. Okay, guys, I was put on grocery haul duty. So, this is everything. Okay, so, right here we have these sport drinks. They're kind of like Gatorades, but they're just great value better. Um, and then we have water. We have sugar, because I guess we need the sugar. I don't know. We have cinnamon rolls, because mom is going to make breakfast right now. Oreos. Oreos. Um, chicken flavored noodles. And the beef flavored, because Toddy likes the beef flavored. We have two things of bread. Some Fruit Loops. Captain Crunch, Lucky Charms, and Frosted Flakes. All four of those. And then, just like quick snacks, we have ham, cheese with eggs for breakfast, ranch, vegetable oil, strawberry jelly, and grape jelly. I only like grape jelly, but Junior over there likes 
grape jelly. It's disgusting. Anyways, we have these, and then we have Colby Jack cheese. And then we have this family size Caesar salad because we have spaghettis. So we're going to make salad with those. And then that's it. Not a lot of stuff, just a quick little haul. Hey guys, so I just finished an appointment today, and I'm like, I could be feeling all sad and stuff, but like I'm not. I'm actually like really happy right now because not only did I do the appointment, I did it by myself. I'm actually like following the fundamentals. I made the made contact, made the appointment, did the whole presentation, went through the survey. Like I'm doing everything I'm supposed to be doing. Granted, it didn't patent like she she took all the information. She um she came with a whole list of questions. Oh, not y'all falling. She came with a whole list of questions for me and i was able to answer them all like confidently like i know this you know and that made me so happy because like i know this so i was able to answer all her questions you know um give her feedback ask her questions and i just felt like we just had like a really good conversation back and forth so it didn't patent out like how i wanted how i thought it was going to which is fine but you know what it's all steps it's all steps i'm I'm collecting like my steps. Um, you know, you gotta go through the mud and, and you know, do your learning curve and you gotta get a whole bunch of no's before you start getting your yeses. So I'm happy about that. It's, I don't know, I'm like, okay, I'm ready to do another one now. That's how I feel right now. Like, all right, I need, I'm ready to do another one. I'm ready to get on another appointment. Cause like, I feel, I feel confident in myself right now. So yeah, yeah. I'm just having a moment right now. I'm like, okay, okay. I could I could see this. I can do this. I can do this. It's not hard. Like I can do this, you know? I just need to get into more people's faces and you know, like I actually I was surprised that she actually kept the whole appointment because I was like, oh, I don't know. I don't know if she's gonna come. Like it's kinda late and da da. Like it's that was me doubting myself, but she came and it was a good experience. So I'm happy about that, you know. You're not always going to get like a yes right away. You're just not. And then she gave me her information so we can stay in touch. So that's what this is all about, you know, dropping them little nuggets here and there. And then you never know where it's going to lead at the end of the day. So that's it. That's all I got for y'all. It was good. Hey, guys. Okay, so it's late. It's like one o'clock in the morning. Why am I up? I don't know. I'm up. Let's do a recap of the day. That's why I'm up because I took a bunch of naps all day. Like I told y'all, I went and got the kids. If you watched the other vlog, I went and picked the kids up um, yesterday from the state line. Me and their dad met there, so I got them. We came home, as y'all can see in the vlog, we vlogged some. We pretty much chilled. Like we woke up, I woke up early. I came home like around, I'm probably like, repeating myself because i'm pretty sure at some point of this vlog i've already explained this but you know for shits and gigs let's go ahead and explain it again so i we got home like around one something i didn't get to sleep until like around three my cousin woke me up around seven to take her to work because she woke up late dropped her off came back couldn't sleep and was up for hours right the kids eventually woke up i eventually took a nap again and then i probably took a nap like around three or four or something like that and then I had an appointment at six so went on my appointment came back home chilling with the kids made them go to bed around 10 I took a nap at some point again during that time <laughs> I'm, like, I'm like an old lady <laughs> I didn't need my lap my naps but yeah they're knocked out they wasn't happy about it but they went to sleep because like we have back to school we have to do all that stuff that I didn't get to today we got to do all that tomorrow yeah who's got a busy day but now i can't sleep now i'm up because i'm like thinking about my appointment and of course you guys already know my guilty pleasure is reddick like how true do y'all think these stories are like do y'all think people just make this stuff up and put it online because like some of it be seeming a bit far-fetched but i don't know i don't know y'all let's read a story just just because you know it's like one o'clock in the morning. I'm up, you up. Let's get in somebody's business, right? Let me find one. Hold on. All right, y'all. I found one. 
do y'all think this is real like this reminds me like i don't know if y'all like me but like back in the day when i was younger i used to go on like aol and then i used to find like all these poems and just like wordplay and and like um stories and stuff like that like that's what reddit reminds me of like is that what it turned into nowadays is it is it is it that because <laughs> people really be up here telling all their business and i'm like i'm here for it for some reason i'll rather read it then i mean if everybody everybody know tiktok is messy you you log on tiktok you all in everybody business and i be having to search for people and that don't make no sense because i got better things to do on my time apparently not but let's go ahead and read this story okay it says my wife who's 25 was caught cheating on me 24 with multiple co-workers of mine over the span of the past four years what should i do what you mean what should you do she been cheating on you for four years bro okay it says i guess this is an update post i was looking for the original one but i don't see it so i'm pretty sure he's gonna loop us in so let's see it says original post was a little over a week ago told her multiple times she had one more chance to tell me literally everything and she promised me it was I didn't believe her, so I done more digging myself, ouch, Ugh, digging always hurts, and found out she had, in fact, met at least one of these guys in person at least once, and that was enough for me. I know that's right. It's just, she swears up and down. She did, she swears up and down. All she did was sit in his truck for 15 minutes. Then he left, but what sense does that make? Okay, like... Who's that dumb? You Even if you did sit in his truck, what was he doing there in the first place? Like, that's the question. Like, people be trying to make you feel, like, so stupid. Like, it wasn't even that big of a deal. What was he doing here in the first place? That let, Let's start there. What made you want to link up with this person in the first place knowing you married? That's where we need to start at. I don't care if it was two seconds. What were you doing there? Triggered, clearly. Let's finish reading. Okay. So it says, we began our divorce filing on Friday morning. She agreed to do an uncontested divorce. That way we can just get things over with quicker. Now I want to know what the original one. It says, thank you to all who gave me plenty of advice. It was, see, now now we got to go find the original one. This, this is where being nosy comes into play. Let me find it. Hold on. All right, John. I did digging and I couldn't find it. My nosiness was just not that irrelevant. I, I got bored and then I found something else. So let's read this one. It says, found out my dad is cheating. Please help. <laughs> it says, hi all, please help. I'm sorry if this doesn't read well, but I have to share it with someone. I'm currently on holiday. Holiday, is that like a, that's like a England thing? What is holiday? Like on vacation? Why don't we call it vacation? I don't know. But she's currently on holiday with just me and my, my dad. My parents are married. A few days ago, I accidentally came across a message on his phone from a couple different Thai ladies. I found it strange, so investigated further. Don't ever go through people's phones, bro. You, ill people put some weird stuff on their phones. Don't do it. It says he has gone on a number of holidays throughout Southeast Asia, so I was hoping. It wasn't anything bad. Unfortunately, I found some very inappropriate messages and pictures going back and forth between him and even messages that suggest they had met in person and had sex. Ew, gross. It says, this is very disappointing and distressing for me. So you don't go through people's phones. I don't wanna know. Um, my mom is an incredible woman. She's so beautiful and faithful to my dad, but apparently he's not. Shocker. Not to mention, I love my dad and he and he has always been such a role model for me. Oh, that's sad. See what happens when you be nosy? Um, I feel so conflicted. I know if I say nothing that he will continue in his marriage and my mom would never find out. That ain't true, bro. Don't if you're a woman, you know. You know when something's up. Like, I don't care. We can play naive all we want, but you you know the person you with, right? So, it says, I have made copies of all the messages which confirm his guilt, but he has since deleted everything. 
Not you making messages. Not you making copies. Ooh, 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 ooh. I don't even know. That's crazy. It says my family has always been very close and supportive to each other. Never would I never would I have thought he was capable of this. Yo, he's human. It says what sucks even more is that he has continued to message her as I have been with him. As I have been with him, saying things to her like, My sweet and I wish you would I wish I was with you along with more sexual content. Bro, I will be sick. I would be so sick. I couldn't, I couldn't re, I couldn't. For my dad, ill, ill. Like, I wouldn't, no, no. Okay, it says, it's been so difficult continuing to hang out with him all day whilst on holiday. I'm currently writing this in the same hotel room, room with him. Blah. I'm trying to seem normal and make conversation, but I'm so angry at him. Right now, I am the only one who knows anything. I have a brother and a sister, both older. I'm 23. I want to talk to them about it because I can't handle this burden on my own. Please, this is where I need your advice. It's currently the end of July, but I am solo traveling until the end of the year. Fancy. I wish I was doing stuff like that at 23. Solo traveling? Yo, that sounds nice. Okay. Um getting sidetracked y'all until the end of the year so if my mom finds out before i'm home i will feel terrible not being there for her my siblings no longer live at home so it's just my parents at home i can't stress enough how much my mom loves my dad marriage trash it says this will completely wreck her trash before this i had a perfect family no such thing as perfect it says, I'm in shock and disbelief about what is happening. I feel I can't knowing I I feel I can't know knowingly not speak up about this, but my fears are this. One, my mom finds out whilst I'm not in the country slash home to support her. Two, my dad will obviously know that I was the one who found out. Will he hate me forever? Boy. My mouth want to say boy, but my brain is like, don't cuss. Okay, so I'm not going to cuss. Boy, forget him. Y'all know what I really wanted to say. And three, I get home. I mean, when I get home, my family will be changed forever. It says, I'm leaving my dad tomorrow to continue on my own solo travel. Lucky. Okay, sorry. Um, currently, my plan is to talk to my siblings and share this news. Oh, you just, oh, oh, man. Okay, I think after that, I will message my dad telling him I found out and that he needs to tell my mom or I will. Dang. Please give your suggestions. I'm also considering not telling my siblings to protect them from ruining their view of my dad. Oh, your mom is definitely going to tell them. Like, yeah, they don't know. Uh, but I don't think it should only be up to me yet. Technically, it don't have nothing to do with you, but it has something to do with you because that's your family. But, like, parent stuff, I learned to stay out of that crap because I don't really care. That sounds mean. Let me try to rephrase that. Parents are people, and I'm not in random people stuff, so I'm not going to be in their stuff either. That sounds better. Yeah. We're going to stick with that. Okay. I also don't think I can handle this on my own. I'm sorry if it doesn't make sense. I could write... So much more detail, but not right now. I've never posted anything on Reddit before. Please send your advice, um, support, prayers, literally anything. I don't know what to do. God bless, blah, 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 blah. Somebody said, rip off the Band-Aid and do it. Your mom has a right to know what a POS your dad is, plus the fact that he could give her incredible disease. That's facts. I don't, guys don't, I'm, a, I'm a, I say guys, but I read enough of these to know that women are trash too, so nasty just nasty but guys it's literally about to be one o'clock and i'm gonna sit here i'm gonna act like i'm going to sleep but really i'm about to sit here and finish reading these reddits because they always email me at like early in the morning because they know i'm up 
and I be wanting to be nosy. So mm -hmm. I'm going to sit here and finish this. Anyways, I hope you guys liked the vlog. If you guys made it to the end of this vlog, made it all the way, all the way, all the way, all the way to the end. Don't forget to hit the like. Don't forget to, don't forget to subscribe and like, subscribe, and I'll see y'all on the next vlog. Peace. Thank you.